Solar power has been around for decades, with humble beginnings in simple devices like pocket calculators, the energy it creates is renewable, and as research continues and its use expands, it's also becoming more cost efficient. So with all of these plus points, you might be surprised to hear that solar power only accounts for less than 2% of global electricity. In China, solar energy is being implemented at a rapid pace. Every year since 2013, China has led the world in installing new solar panels, and one of its newest and biggest installations is in the Kubuti Desert of Inner Mongolia. Here, unobstructed sunlight makes for optimal conditions to construct solar power projects. The new solar farm also helps with sand control in an area that has issues with desertification. Alongside the trees planted near the solar farm, the solar infrastructure helps prevent sand from blowing into nearby bodies of water. But even with the unfiltered daylight, night must eventually come to the desert as well. Traditional solar panels sit overnight, unable to generate power until the next morning. But in China's western Dunhuang, new technology is being deployed to harness the sun's power 24 hours a day. Dunhuang's Tengge Desert averages 3,246 hours of sunlight per year. The solar project here looks different because it employs molten salt technology, which has hundreds of panels covering half a square mile to catch sunlight. But unlike traditional solar panels, the glass panels are mirrors reflecting sunlight towards a heat collector at the center of the field. At the top of the tower, a pipeline of molten salt is pumped through a circuit to be heated and returned to a steam generator which fuels electricity generating turbines. Some salt is heated and stored in insulated tanks which get tapped for use once the sun goes down. So with this technology, solar power can be generated uninterrupted day and night. The so-called sunflower of Dunhuang cuts down on around 350,000 tons of carbon emission every year, part of a new ambition for China to achieve carbon neutrality before 2060. With the development of new green technology like molten salt solar power, the potential to build towards a responsible future awaits us. I'm James Chow. Thank you for listening and watching. I am James Chow. You're watching The China Current. Follow us on social media at The China Current.